Hello everyone, 안녕하세요. Welcome to another episode of Korean Through Photos and I'm your teacher for this lesson, Hyunwoo. So this photo was taken at a park by Han River and during the summer, or once the weather becomes mild again after winter, you can see a lot of people installing small portable tents and hanging out at the park. In fact, on the weekend, you can see literally hundreds of tents within this area that you can see in this very photo. And the message that you can see right here is talking about some rules that you need to keep in mind when you want to install a tent in the park. So let's start reading. Shall we? The first word is 그늘막. 그늘막. 그늘 means shade and 막 means curtain in this case. And together, 그늘막 refers to a tent. I'm not entirely sure why they are using the word 그늘막 instead of the more popular term tent, but I assume they wanted to use a more native Korean expression. It's a notice for the public. And also, there's another word for tent which is 천막. But if you say 천막, it sounds like it's a bigger tent than a 그늘막. Well, anyway, the next word is 설치, 설치, which means installation. And the verb to install is 설치하다. The next word is 안내, which means guidance or guide. So altogether, 그늘막 설치 안내 means tent installation guide. All right, the following line says 그늘막은 소형 설치 2면 이상 개방해야 합니다. One more time, a little bit faster. 그늘막은 소형 설치 2면 이상 개방해야 합니다. Well, you already know what 그늘막 is and 은 there is a topic marking particle that tells you what they're talking about. And 소형 means small size. 소형. The opposite would be 대형. 대형, big size. And medium size is 중형, 중형. So 소형 설치 means small size installation. Well, the sentence structure here isn't very clear so far, but let's keep reading. 이면 means two sides because 면 means side in this case. So 삼면 means three sides, 사면 means four sides, etc. And 이상 here in this context means not less than or no less than. So 이면 이상 would mean two sides or more. It doesn't mean more than two sides, but actually more than one side. So two sides or more, right? Therefore, two sides is fine. But what are we doing exactly with two sides of the tent? Well, there you go. 개방해야 합니다. 개방하다 is to open. 개방하다. And yes, it's a very formal word. And 개방해야 합니다 means one must open. And I'm sure you can guess one of the reasons they want you to keep at least two sides of your tent open, right? They don't want you to be doing too much private stuff inside, no. They want to keep the park family friendly. So altogether, 그늘막은 소형 설치, 이면 이상 개방해야 합니다, means, as for tents, you must install a small one and have at least two sides of the tent open. Well, it would be a better sentence if it were 그늘막은 소형으로 설치하고 이면 이상 개방해야 합니다. But I understand that they wanted to keep the sentence very short. And moving on to the fine print, 설치 가능 시간. 설치 is installation. 가능, 가능 is possible. 시간 is time or hours. So 설치 가능 시간 means the hours where you can install. And the hours are, as you can see, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. between April and October and 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. between November and March. Okay, so that wraps up this episode of Korean Through Photos. And by the way, we have a bonus video for you if you want to just listen to the Korean words introduced here as well as some extra expressions. So please click on the link down below to watch the secret review video on our site. And we're experimenting with this idea, so we hope you like it and let us know what you think of it. Well, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos and turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any of our daily lessons. Thank you very much. 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요. Bye! Click on the link!